Welcome to our online business school for creative entrepreneurs who are looking to acquire, obtain superhuman knowledge or know-how to be successful, to make millions of dollars and be happy and super healthy. Let me open up this dialogue. What is success to you really? Is it wealth? Is it health? Is it the relationships or is it all of the above? How do you achieve success, like realistically? Let's open up this dialogue. Success, in our definition, is the trifecta of all three. Material wealth, superhuman health, and relationships. Now, how do you achieve it? Well, you have to have methodology. For example, I made my first million dollars when I was 14 and a half. Now, how do you think I made my first million dollars at the age of 14 and a half? Please speak out loud. What did I sell? What did I do? What transactions did I close to be able to make $1.2 million when I was 14 and a half? What did I do? What industry was I in? I'll just tell you because it's not very likely that you will actually, I mean, I hope you're right. But what I did is I actually was in currency trading. I traded currencies using a very specific methodology. You might say, well, how did I arrive at that? Well, at 12, I delved into that. But most importantly, it's the programming of my mind that was different. So the difference between me and you, if you haven't made the millions, is the programming, how you think. For example, you come into this world as a clean slate. So in other words, you're being programmed as a computer since you were born by your parents, by your guardians, by your school teachers, by your environment, you know, the famous actors, writers, influencers, and so on and so forth. And they shape who you are. All of that programming is wrong, it's flawed. What we do with our students, we reprogram the minds of our students on the deepest level, on the subconscious level. So they begin to see the world in a new light, as it is, not how it was, how they were indoctrinated or how they were brainwashed to think. Example, if you wanna die for your country, you've been indoctrinated through militaristic propaganda. Now, you want to die for your estate that you're going to be protecting, for protecting your family, for your wife and children. But if you're a man and you're told, you know, enlist in the army, your motherland or fatherland needs you, that's propaganda, that's indoctrination, that's brainwashing. You're being enslaved to give up your life. If you're not there, then you're not there. But if you're there, you understand how that works. There's only certain factors, certain triggers, or certain strings that they like to play with your emotions. Once you get into it, you will just wonder, why did I not know about these things years ago? Because it frees you, you become free. And you become free for the first time in your life. And if you don't know these things, you're enslaved. You're a slave to the system. To those who know these things and who, those who actually put those rules upon your life. Silly example, but it's very close to this patriotic nonsense. For example, do you think that Canadian geese really realize that they're not Canadian? Or do they think that they're Canadian because we call them Canadian when they fly over from Canada, over the U.S. territory, over that imaginary line that we call state border. Please, just think out loud, you know, say something. Isn't that stupid to you, now that we've discussed it, that Canadian geese are not really Canadian? There is no border. You shouldn't be worried about showing your passport at a border checkpoint. And the name that's written in your passport 
It's really not your name. Did you realize that? We're getting to the core here. Do you, do you feel the, the truth is coming? And the name that's printed on your driver's license or in your passport is not your real name. It's just a combination of silly, silly sounds. It was made up by somebody, your parent, your guardian, or God knows who. The point is, you could have been kind of a mixed up at a maternity ward where you were born. You could have been kidnapped. You may not be, you could be just shuffled around and it's not you really. I mean, there's so many lookalikes in those hospitals. There's so many people like, for example, my wife's brother. He doesn't, you know, he has blue eyes and he doesn't look like anything like like the parents. So there's a joke that he has been sort of, uh, something happened at birth or maybe some other jokes about the mother, you know. But the point is, it happens in real life. 40% of all names or children that think that they live with their biological parents turn out to be not the case. You live with a name that you think is yours, it's not. It's a bunch of nonsense. You have parents that you think they're your biological parents. It may not be so. When you eagerly want to show your passport, you're like a trained dog. You're like an animal. And Canadian geese never show their passports. They don't have a need to show any passports. They don't have any passports. They're not even Canadian. So the whole thing is a bunch of lies, a bunch of just made up words and concepts that are completely flawed and nothing to do with reality. The reality is what we teach. And what we teach is this. If you can actually realize what I just shared with you, you can take this lottery ticket and connect it to this reality, the, the source of this information. Call it Akashic Records, if you will. And make it a winning ticket. Yes, yes, yes. There, there's a methodology like that that's been studied for decades and decades. And we're going to teach you that. We're not going to focus on the lottery. It's just a, an example. We're going to teach you how to start a business in the industry that you like, that you feel most fulfilled, which is part of the ikigai-driven life. Ikigai is fulfillment according to the Japanese philosophy. And it's reinforced through what's called the Kaizen methodology. It's a methodology of perfecting your life, every bit of it. It's really, really just one small aspect of what we teach, very small. 5% perhaps. There's even more dramatic um, approach that we take. We just reprogram a person's mind and they become free for the first time. We, we free people's minds, literally. That's what we do at our school. So if you're intrigued, if you're interested how to make a million dollars, I just shared with you how I did. If you want to know how to live to be 200, we have a scientific study, scientific program that we're all on. 2,000 calorie daily diet, organic food, go to bed at 8.30 p.m. every day, wake up without an alarm clock, about five o'clock, naturally, when your body awakes, and so on and so forth, a few other things. Then you will naturally, by testing each organ separately, you will naturally, naturally just live to be, now that you've been reprogrammed, to live to be 200. Dr. Wilson and I, who's my business partner, uh, teaches this uh, very unique approach to living longer, to longevity, based on this principle. It's all 100% scientific. The brightest scientists in the world are behind this research. So that's what we teach. And we welcome you to join, but you'll have to qualify. In order to qualify, you have to send us your mission statement about how you're going to use this information, what your goals are, your visions about your life in the next 10, 20 years. And also attach a one-page resume. Convert it into a PDF file, and then upload it on our website. We'll um, review it, and I'm sure you're a fine specimen. You'll uh, be part of our student body. So we look forward to seeing you in our online school. Take care. We'll see you in class. And don't be late this time. Okay, first of all, what's your name? Chris Shaw. Chris Shaw? Yeah. And where are you from, Chris? Um, I'm originally from Alton, Missouri, but I live here in Marshall. So. How, how long have you been in Marshall? 
uh, about two and a half years. Is this the first time you ever won at the lottery? Oh yeah, yeah, and I, I don't ever. What was the first thing that went through your well, mind when you saw that? I, I was freaking out because I knew that you know, I had won, you know, and uh, I, I called my girlfriend and, and she said, no, you know, don't freak out yet. She said, go down to the store, check your ticket, and then, you know, then call me and freak out. So I just called her, you know, and told her, you know, hey, you know, I just won a lot of Powerball. Now, for, for most of it, this is a hell of a lot of money. Oh, yeah. It's an unfathomable amount of money. Did, did I hear you say that you bought a truck last night? Yeah. yeah, yeah, I bought a truck from a friend of mine last night paying a hundred dollars a month. The engine's not even, you know, the engine's kind of flaky in it. I just get by. You know, I'm one of those that I just get by. <laughs> I'm not a rich guy, that's for sure. Are, are, are you going to keep that truck or get a new one now? I don't know. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I, it's, I'd pro I'll probably at least fix the motor in it, you know what I mean? Yeah, but I, I don't know if I'll buy it, you know, I don't know. Right now, it's just still kind of a shock and awe. I just can't even imagine that, you know? You, you expect this going to change your life for fairly substantially? Well, I mean, I, I'm sure it will, you know, change, you know, how I live. I won't have to live paycheck to paycheck, worry how I'm going to pay the electric bill or the gas bill or stuff like that anymore. But I don't think it's going to, you know, it's not going to change me as a person. My friends that I have are still my friends, you know. I remember people that, you know, that helped me out when I'm, I didn't have nothing. Yeah, you know, I remember those people that helped me when I didn't have nothing. Nonetheless, I will show you here how to concentrate and focus so you could sort of move Mother Nature, you know, create this wind, create this wind. You, you know, basically you, you play with Mother Nature, you become one and you sort of create, you know, this is 30 mile an hour wind. I wouldn't go over that because at least at first, um, until you become more comfortable, because this is how sometimes the wind gets gets uh, carried away from you, and then you have to flee the area if you're not careful. Okay, so anyway, you just play with Mother Nature. You know, you kind of connect with the tree. It's it's very beautiful, and it will connect with you.